It was Junior World Championships. It was my last Junior Worlds, so uh, we wanted to go out on a good note. Dave had a plan to basically kill me before he wanted me to be freaking out two weeks out. So I was ready to taper and I would respond to the taper, which I did, so his plan worked perfectly. Hey, this is Dave Spitz at CalStrength. Wanted to uh, give you a little explanation of our final couple days leading up to Dylan's departure for Tokyo. Um, some of the things that we like to think about here uh, in competition prep. So for Dylan, the one thing that we've been able to do is gather some good data points through this uh, last uh, three week mesocycle on where he's at with working maxes. So for the snatch, that's 146 kilos. And for the clean and jerk, it's 186 kilos. Now, when we go ahead and program our attempts at a competition, we always like to set up with uh, a first attempt in the snatch that falls somewhere around uh, the 93% range. So for him, 93% would mean 134 kilos. So that's our first attempt. His second attempt, is going to fall somewhere in the 97% range. And so that's 141 kilos. And his third attempt is going to fall hopefully somewhere at the 101% range, which would be 147 kilos. So those would be the attempt progressions that we're trying to target. And so what back, backing up from the 93%, we put a warm up progression together. So when we're ready to go, we'll put them on a timer. Every three minutes, he's gonna take these attempts and then we're gonna try and hit his 93%, 97%, and 101% in the snatch. The snatches felt automatic. I wasn't even putting thought into them. I was just getting my knees back and finishing vertical, and that's it. And they all felt good. I felt like I could have snatched 50 that day. It's my first time really diving into the system that is California strength. And I had to trust it and I did. And uh, it ended up working out well for me. So going three for three and knowing you had more is a good sign. Our first attempt in the clean and jerk is gonna fall right around the 95% range. So 95% of 186 kilos, that's 177 kilos for his first attempt. His second attempt, we're gonna go to 98%. And so for Dylan, that's 183 kilos. And then for our third attempt for tonight, we're gonna try and hit 101%, which for him would be 187 kilos. Again, these working maxes are derived from what we've been able to do in the normal course of training through the last uh, mesocycle. Between these two, we'll make sure we have at least 10 minutes of downtime, but this will ensure that he is comfortable with the pace of our warm-up progressions, uh, that the numbers, so if we want to fix anything or alter anything, we can give that information to USA Weightlifting and uh, the platform coach, the expediter who's counting the cards, and the runner all are on the same page. This was definitely the most structured. Um, the setup has been towards a meet. The coaches there were awesome. I had uh, Ben Hua, Ray Jones, CJ Cummings coach, and Mike Gatone the technical assistant back there with me and they were all awesome. Um, the temps were timed perfectly, everything was perfect, so no complaints there. The clean and jerks felt good. The last clean, I kind of, I messed it up, missed the bounce and messed up the jerk a little bit too, but still came out with three whites, which is all that really matters at that point. So 187 is one kilo more than I did in training leading up. Same with the 146, one kilo more than I did in training. So this is just a quick little example of what we do prior to a large competition to make sure our athletes are in the best possible uh, shape to compete and set PRs on the platform. Thanks for watching.